everybody welcome to country girl today i'm going to do a video to just show you some um, organization ideas that i used in my kitchen that has worked for me um, unfortunately i can't show you me putting these things together or doing them because i have already done it um, i had come home a few months ago and for some reason or another i just felt like decluttering and so I didn't plan it, um, I didn't record it, I just went through my kitchen and got rid of a lot of stuff that I don't use, things that I had duplicates of, um, tried to get rid of a lot of stuff off my countertops that I felt like I didn't use on a daily basis, just to kind of help things look neater and cleaner for me. And um, so anyway, it's really worked well. I've really enjoyed the things that I have been able to do to my kitchen. And so I just thought um, the other day I had gotten some groceries and had to put a lot of the stuff away and so i thought well you know this would be a good time to do a video to show uh people how i you know organize and the things that i do in my cabinets to save some space anyway um, that's what today's video is going to be about and i hope it, i will be able to give you um some ideas on what you can do um, to save space in your kitchen as well and this is, you know, where I keep my coffee and stuff like that. Um, normally I have paper straws in here. But I don't have any paper straws right now that's not holiday related, so I don't have any. The ones we've been using are plastic and they're just too tall for that container. This is a cookie jar or a jar that I have bought at Target and it does a really good job at being airtight and keeping your cookies and stuff crisp. I just don't, I uh, haven't bought me any cookies for myself to put in here lately. So I've just got my sugar here um, with my coffee. Uh, or for my coffee and then my coffee maker is sitting on this thing here my sister bought this for me um, for my birthday i think one year and the tray just slides out and that's where i put all of my coffee pods this is the cabinet that is right above my cured coffee uh, maker and this is the cabinet that i put our glasses in and our coffee mugs and things like that and so um, the bottom shelf i just kind of left like it was because you do have glasses that are a little bit taller but the top shelf, I put in like a, a little divider or a little um, little shelf type thing in here that's, that stands up because there's such so much wasted space um, in between what you're using and then the top of your cabinets. So I wanted to utilize as much space as I could with that. Uh, I think I bought those at Walmart. They're, I can't really remember the price. I'm thinking they may have been around five or six dollars. I'm not sure but it's well worth the money. I have so many coffee mugs that I actually have another cabinet over my refrigerator that I store coffee mugs that I'm not using at the time. So what I'm going to be doing in the next you know, couple of weeks is I'm probably gonna be pulling out my Halloween coffee mugs and I will be placing them up here and transferring any of my spring or summer type mugs over to the other cabinet. But um, this is how I do my cabinet for my cups. Another thing I also eliminated was a lot of the glasses that we had. Some of them that wasn't uh, that was mixed matched or you know things like that. We don't just don't need all those cups. I did want to have you know six like juice or small glasses, so I did pick these up from the Dollar Tree. I got four of these. I actually had purchased six of them, but two of them broke on the way home um, for like dinner time. And then these glasses back here, there are four of them. And these we have had since we got married. I think we started out with six or eight, and this is what we got left. But that's about all we have as far as the glasses. And, um, yeah, that's my husband's favorite mug back there and my favorite one. And then, you know, we got a few coffee mugs and things like that um, for to-go purposes. So this is my spot, what I call my spice cabinet. It's right near my stove, and it's just where I keep all of my spices. Now, this probably, I probably need to dust this out a little bit. But I did buy this rotating... Um, little turnstile bin and i picked it up at bed bath and beyond it just is such a lifesaver when it comes to rotating through your spices and being able to find everything and i tried to turn my spices around where everything is you know like facing me if i have multiple things um you know i would just kind of like set it behind there and then the smaller items i put on top also like for my can um you know like baking powder and things like that i just kind of stuck over here to the side um, different various little things, but you want stuff pretty much within easy reach um, so that you can can get those. This right here. And then um, up here, I just put everything in a basket. Now I like taking putting things in baskets because 
when things are on top shelf, it's hard to reach um, without a stool and things get lost back there. So if I want to find something or I know I need something, I can just take this whole entire basket and just kind of like turn it around and bring it down and set it on my counter. But anyway, get what I need out of it and then stick it back up there. And in this, um, getting a little bit full, that's another thing. You're going to have to declutter every so often because even though you get rid of stuff, Believe it or not, you will start accumulating stuff again. So um, this is just kind of like extra type spice type stuff. I've got my, you know, uh, chicken base here. I've got um, beef base down here. I've got some, you know, minced onions, some pepper, um, whole pepper corns. Um, this is, you know, cornstarch, things like that, bigger items. My Old Bay seasoning um, I have as well. And this is just some sugar and cinnamon. And then I've got my little uh, shaker that's got little, got my flour and stuff like that in it. But just being able to pull that down and then set it back up in the cabinet when I'm done um, just really helps. And right now I've got this pack of straws. I normally don't keep these here, but it's just because um, they will not fit in my straw holder next to my Keurig. And then I've just got some extra salt and stuff up here. So here is my... Um, cabinet that sits right beside of my stove and I redid this as well this metal thing that's in here is actually a pot lid holder and I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond also and I just turned it on its side um, I think it's supposed to like fit up against this, the wall part but I just turned it um, on the side and I am able to slide in you know my um, pizza stones and um, you know different pans and stuff like that and it just keeps them upright and I can just pull them out when I need them. This is a deep cabinet too so it goes back pretty far. Over here I've just got the rack to my, um, my basting pan that I've got over here and then I've got you know my casserole dishes that sit right there. On the bottom shelf um, I put one of them dividers in again and this is where I set my, um, my cooking pots and stuff like that. I just put um, my one of my pots there. I got my frying pan down there. On this side, I just put like some long utensils that we use for grilling and things like that. And then, um, you know, my big, um, I don't know what you call that, stir fry pans. I actually use that quite a bit, but it sits right here. And then toward the back, if I took this out, I do have other pots back there, but they're pots that I don't really use that often. So, um, but anyway, so that's how I've got that stored. This is my cabinet um, that's next to my sink. And I don't have them in here right now, but this holds the lids to uh, my glass storage containers. And I just stand them upright in that. And then I usually set them right here um, when they're, clean but they're in the dishwasher right now i've got my three mixing bowls that i use my cake stand i had it in the bottom toward the back but i had used it so much that i've just kept it where i can get to it easily um, this little uh, basket back here just has miscellaneous items in it popsicle holders um you know just different little things that i might need and then down here i used another one of those um, shelf dividers to put, you know, my bakeware, I guess. Um, put some glass platters down here and then other casserole dishes over here. So um, that's how I organize that. Okay, so this is underneath my sink and I just, um, it's not the, the most neatest. Um, I just kind of wanted to get everything in one place. So I did buy this bucket at the Dollar Tree and I just kind of put all of my little spray bottle type things our um, dish detergent sits right there. And then I've got a little uh, bucket down here that just has some sponges and different miscellaneous things. And then over here, I've got another one of those buckets and there I just kind of put my dusters, cleaning cloths, trash bags, things like that. And just to let you, just to let you see how deep this cabinet is, I mean, it goes back pretty good way. So I am able to put quite a bit in here, but I put things toward the back that I don't use that often. And then I bought this little orange bucket um, just to kind of like throw utensils and stuff like that in. Um, 
that I use, but you know, not something that I won't actually sitting out on my countertops all the time. The main thing is to be able to pull things out. If things are in buckets and you're, you're able to pull them out, you can always pull them out, set them on your counter, get what you need and put it back in. Now this, um, this basket that I got, I bought this from Walmart and I like it because it holds a lot of stuff and it's the perfect size for the deepness of my cabinets. I do put um, all of my cake baking type um, things on, in this particular basket. And just so you can see kind of what I've got in here, um, this is my pan that I use to make my pound cakes. And I actually had it at one time hanging on a, um, a little hook right here on the sidewall. Um, but it fell off and I just did not replace it. But that is something else that you can do um, is take, you know, things like that just to kind of show you and just get like a little 3M hook or something and just hang it right there. And so that's where I had that. And I'm not sure if I had that prior to having this in here or not. Um, but anyway, so um, this is what I've got in here. It's just all of my pans and stuff for cakes and things like that. And you can see the size of it. That's my cake decorator um, that I've got there. And I just take that and get what I need out of it and again, put it back underneath the cabinet. The cabinet back here, I've got a basket and that basket is just, it holds my cake. I mean, my this basket holds my apple peeler core. And I'm not really gonna take that out right now because I very rarely use that. But I didn't wanna get rid of it because it is nice to have if I start making things with apples um, for fall. My laundry area on here, I just, um, this is not gonna stay, it's just a battery. But I've got this basket that I put um, different, you know, laundry cleaning things in. Um, my Clorox that I've got there, our detergent here. This top shelf, um, I've just got, you know, different various bowls and things like that that we use, um, you know, it just kind of stays up there. So then I've got my little clothespin bag hanging right there, so. Okay, so this is my pantry and I apologize, the lighting in here is not very good. But this used to be a bread box that sit on my counter and I wanted to get the bread box off my counter, but I did not want to get rid of it. So I put it in here on this shelf. And so in here, I just kind of like stack um, different miscellaneous type things like overflow of our canned goods and things like that that won't fit up top. Um, anyway, so I put that there. I try and keep like canned meats and things like that on the top of that. This little corner over here is just a, a little section that I use to put like um, packages of ranch, Lipton onion soup mix, um, powder type drinks, things like that. I've got a little basket here that just, you know, slid in that I put my peanut butter, um, you know, marshmallow cream, things like that. The buckets over here, um, I just put a label on each one of those. One says baking, one says sugar. Uh, a little bit messy, sorry about that, but I keep my um, sugar in one and then any other baking supplies in the other one. Um, up here, I've got a basket that I put packaged sides. That would be like box pots, stub beans, things like that. Right here is just a little bit of an overflow area. I've got two containers here. One is for flour. One has got instant potatoes, which we hardly ever eat because I don't care for instant potatoes. Um, over here is just a little turnstile uh, bin that I could put some of my canned foods on. Um, it's just really overloaded right now. We went grocery shopping and like completely loaded up. So a lot of this stuff is just kind of like we had to find places to put things. These other two baskets here, you know, one of course is salad, dressing and syrup and then vinegar. And, um, you know, this has any kind of sauces and things like that. And so, um, you know, I wanted to label it. Of course you can look and see, but you know, especially with like my family, they're very visual and you kind of have to like, they can open up a cabinet and be like, where's it at? They don't see it and I gotta come kind of point it out to them. Now down here, um, I just done a little basket that I put like plastic zip, zip bags in. And then little snacks. This is what my husband reaches for when he fixes the girls their lunch. And then this is like a, um, you know, like a bag and, and tenfold um, little stand. I think it may have come from Amazon or something. Um, I had asked for that for Christmas and got that as a Christmas gift from somebody at work. So over here is where I keep, it's like a little storage bin. I keep my dish towels and dishcloths in. And so um, the top is what I keep like my dishcloths. Right now I just have these two in here because when I was putting them away the other day, I didn't feel like going putting them in the bottom. 
And then this one here is for, you know, hand towels and things like that. And then up top, I keep my kitchen aid because I don't use it a whole lot. And so I didn't want to leave it sitting on my counter. I just pull it out when I need it. I also have a regular coffee maker back here. When I have a lot of company come over, I don't want to really run my Keurig. Um, so I will make like a whole pot of coffee. Back here, I have a percolator. I love that. I take that with me. Um, you know, if we were to go on vacation or something. I'm not sure if they have a coffee pot or camping, things like that. I've also got my cupcake stands that I keep up here. And then I've got like little extra uh, baskets and things. And back in the very back is like a little toaster oven um, that my mother had when she was planning on camping and didn't ever get to. And I took it, even though I didn't need it, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So anyway, that's my pantry. Okay, so this is how I organize my... Um, snacks and stuff from things that I bought in my grocery haul. I bought these um, little bins at the Dollar Tree and I love these because they're so much wider and shorter um, but they're deeper. Um, anyway, I put like the um, cookies here, the Rice Krispies here. I got some more cookies here, some more Rice Krispies and then I just put this um, cookie um, pack down here. I've got Caitlin's Fruit Roll-Ups here. I put some popcorn here. I've got their cinnamon swirl bread and then their Nutri-Grain bars. And I did buy this little liner right here from the Dollar Tree um, to line the bottom of the shelf with. I did not line this one. Uh, this is where I keep the dog food. And I've just got this little container from the Dollar Tree. And I um, took the dog food out of the box and I tried to rotate them or alternate them so that, that we could pick something different each day um, for her to eat. And then I've got, this is kind of like our emergency food. She don't really like this hard food. But if we run out or we're running low and we haven't been able to go to the grocery store, she will eat it. I mean, she just isn't her favorite. And then I've got this here um, that I keep some of her snacks in. Uh, there's another can of food back here that we have bought her. Um, not Again, not her favorite, but, you know, in a pinch it will do. So up here I've got... These are like little stacking baskets, and these are fairly new at the Dollar Tree, too. But um, I had little single serving packs of popcorn that fit perfect down in here. But you flip these little, um, they have these little things here, and you flip them down so that you can set another um, container on top. And on this top container, I have our um, grits, our instant grits and stuff. And then I just put this little popcorn um, seasoning right there. Um, this is another basket. This is just kind of like my snacks or, um, you know, just other snacks that um, don't really go anywhere else. So I've got um, some the um, pork toastitos, some salsa. I've got my beef jerky here. Of course, I'm going to take that to work eventually. Um, but, you know, just regular snacks. But I like them because you can pull the whole basket out. Then up here, I put in, um, this is just tea. This little basket here, um, it was just a leftover basket I had. I'm not even really sure where I got it, but I've got like sprinkles and chocolate syrup and stuff because um, we do like to have hot chocolate sometimes. And then I've got my little hot chocolate container here with my marshmallows, this truffle spread, which is the same thing as Nutella. And then this is where I keep my um, roasted peanuts. So um, that's kind of how I organize the snack cabinet. And then, um, you know, I put my cereals and stuff like that on top. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how I kind of semi-organize my refrigerator. This is actually turned around the wrong way. But I've got this little basket here and I put a little sign on it that says meats. And I like this because it's like a little tray. And so a lot of times when you have deep um, refrigerators and stuff like that, um, it's hard to reach in the very back to get things or they get forgotten. So if you put stuff in a tray that you can pull out and then it just works better and actually, um, like I said, this I need to like clean my refrigerator out as far as like wiping it down and, and, and stuff. But I put like a little liner in here just because every once in a while people don't close up their uh, meat packages properly, they can leak. Um, and so you know, the, having a little liner like this just you know helps because you could take that out and rinse that off and then put it back in. I probably ought to cut it down a little bit better too. But anyway, just give you an idea uh, on what I thought for that. This drawer, I just keep all of our cheeses and stuff in. I did put like one of these little plastic containers from the Dollar Tree in here. We put all of our cheese sticks and stuff. I've got the, um, the Laughing Cow wedges here. And then back here, I've got our block cheese and, you know, sliced cheese and things like that. Now, because I bought overbought on my cheese, I did um, put a lot of my extra stuff down here. 
but technically what this drawer is supposed to be for is, um, you know, like I put like my apples, um, if I get any apples or anything like that, I put them down in this little bucket, and I have been putting the um, guacamole minis that I have. For right now, it's going to serve as just a place to put extra stuff. Got this, um, these are like canned drink holders, but we're trying to not have as much canned drinks, but these also work well for other things. So like I've got sour cream back there with some butter and then, you know, GF, anything that's short that can stand up in here, you know, I could put over here, but this side is where we put, you know, our milk and orange juice and stuff like that. Of course, the bottom drawer is just for produce um, that we picked up. Up here, I've got one that I marked dairy and I put our butter um, and stuff in here, cream cheese. This normally would not be here, but since I bought two packs of sausage, I didn't really have anywhere to stick it, so I put it there for now. And then beside here, I've got like a little tray that can pull out, um, and I just got, for now, I've got medicine in there because it has to be refrigerated. Um, but you can put anything you want to in there. Top shelves, this is like leftovers, my fruit. I've got my bacon up here. Um, it won't really fit anywhere else. And then, um, Sorry, this is getting awful bright. Let me take this down. I bought these egg containers at the Dollar Tree a while back, and I do transfer my eggs into them. I just think they look a lot nicer. And, you know, not not have to be needed because your eggs do come in cartons, but um, I just like it in there like that. Let me back off a little bit. Of course, my doors are nothing special. I don't really have any kind of organizational system to this. Um, I tried to kind of group things together. I started out trying to group things together as to what went together, but you know, over time that just kind of gets, you know, mixed up or whatever. So anyway, that's how I organize my refrigerator. And it's pretty full. Okay, so that's all I have today for my um, kitchen organization video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.